Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I'm going to be talking about all kinds of uh, human design related things. Um, this particular uh, episode, I'm beginning to uh, do some regular YouTube videos. Uh, and this one is on how human design changed my life and indeed how meeting Ra'uruhu changed my life. Um, I've been in human design now for 25 years. And uh, when I was lucky enough to bump into it, um, I'd been running a Mind Body Spirit magazine called Kindred Spirit for 12 years. And 10 years before that, I'd been deeply researching the nature of being and what the truth is and um, the nature of reality, what it is more than people think it is. I, I wanted to know the truth. And, uh, you know, a degree in philosophy didn't, didn't uh, teach me about the truth. It opened up a few doors, but it was over-intellectualized and I needed more. I wanted something more fulfilling. So I went searching and I and, uh, found many different things. And uh, when I uh, had this incredible uh, response to start a magazine, um, it was like this was my dream job. I mean, it was hard work, don't, don't get me wrong. But it gave me an opportunity to um, interview whoever I wanted to interview. Um, Eckhart Tolle, uh, Caroline May, Steve Chopra, um, and all kinds of wonderful people, finding out things that I'd never thought about. I mean, human to insect communication, for example, or the way that um, different healers, different shamans work, or the, uh, the nature of some of the new science and the new discoveries that were happening. Um, the, our relationship to the spirit world and to different states of consciousness, etc. It, it was a fascinating uh, job. And after 12 years, I thought, well, this is what I'm going to be doing. This is, this is, this is my life. And um, I was invited to go and see uh, Ra Ruhu when he came to England in, uh, at Lewis. And I thought, well, why not? Um, you know, I will, I will go along. I went along in my capacity as uh, the editor of uh, Kindred Spirit. I went with a curiosity. It was like I... I didn't particular. I wasn't particularly crazy about it. It was an interesting subject, but once I'd, I'd done the articles and done the uh, got that issue out of the way, I was on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, because that's what happens with a magazine. You have to plan ahead and you have to you have to do it. And when I walked in the room, there was this guy, you know, all wearing black with a kind of black baseball hat with uh, something obscure on the front of it. And uh, a voice that sounded like this all the time. You know, it's like, wait, who is this character? He had an energy about him. And uh, I'd met many gurus and leaders and teachers before, so uh, I wasn't phased by it. But what fazed me was when he started speaking. And he was speaking about profiles. For those of you who are uh, well-versed in human design, you know about profiles. One, I'm a 1-3. And I'm an investigator. And there I was hearing things about, uh, about me that were true. I mean, how could he know? And he went through all the profiles. I mean, it was just an amazing experience. Um, and I wanted to listen to more. I was hooked because I'd been looking for truth, and then I stumbled upon this man, this crazy man who was, you know, just himself and um, with this mission. And this is something that you can't walk away from. I mean, once once you've been... Once you really hear the ring of truth, all truth has a ring to it. It's something that changes you. And from that moment on, my, my life in, in Kindred Spirit in the magazine was still going on. I mean, I still had to run the magazine, which was a lot of work. But I wanted to know more. And uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to be given or 
<laughs> to be given the opportunity to buy the uh, rights to film him teaching. So immediately that took me into um, regular contact with him and visiting um, to film or to hire people to film if I couldn't go like to America uh, because there were too many things going on. Um, but everything was filmed and bit by bit by bit, I began to understand what was going on. At first, it was uh, an intellectual um, understanding, a fascination, a, um, a joy, an inspiration, a, a marvelous thing to investigate, um, to see the verifi verifiability of the truth in the people that you meet. So you can, the difference between a, a manifester and a projector between a generator and a reflector to meet those types and to see their difference it was it was amazing but it wasn't really that that flipped me what flipped me was he was talking one day i was in abisa listening to him he was talking about he was in a bad mood that morning and uh, he said you know you know, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, two o'clock today, it's all going to change. It just will. You'll see. You'll see. Nothing we can do about it. Really upset about it. I mean, a little bit of rage, not really upset. But and then he went on to teach what he was there to teach and uh, an another fascinating time. And then we went for lunch. And I'd remembered that he said it was all going to change at two. It was like a mystery. What did he mean by that? He never explained it. What, did, what, did, what do you mean it's all going to change? But I've written it in Baro on my hand so that I would remember. Because it's easy to forget when you're getting so much information about different things. And I was in a Spanish restaurant with uh, the rest of my colleagues. And we were talking about what had happened in the course and then the information. <clears throat> and I was watching my clock and I was going on my watch. I was going, okay, okay, it's soon. It's got to be here soon. And uh, the minutes were ticking by and then the seconds were ticking by. It was a noisy uh, Spanish restaurant. You know, lots of shouting and laughing and clinking of glasses and a feeling of vitality there. And as the second hand went round, we got to two o'clock. And I was seriously shocked. Everything went quiet. It was like the whole, something had, it's almost like they, they, were, they were operating on a director's uh, signals to like everyone calm down. It was just, everything went quiet. And I realized for the first time in my life that this was real. This was real. And um, I better get to know what the hell it's all about. I better, better go deeper because if he could predict such a thing, and I didn't understand about the cycles, I didn't understand about the gates, or lots of things I didn't know then. Um, but I do know how shocked I was, and I do know that it shook me. Um, and it's, it's, it took me on this journey of really working on my own deconditioning, of seeing how wound up I was in the business, how frenetic I was. Um, I mean, living the shadow side is, uh, is not something that anyone really wants to get involved with, but we all do, you know, we're all conditioned. <clears throat> and so I got to watch through my understanding, through readings, through my own observation of my own sacral response, um, through the wonderful teaching career that I've had traveling all over the world teaching, uh, analysts, uh, how to read charts and how to interpret cycles, etc. Uh, it's been fantastic. So it changed my life and it, it gave me a really very interesting life where there was a great deal of uh, fascinating information. But it also gave me a, um, a sense of purpose. And you know what? This curious mind of mine, I wasn't curious anymore. I wasn't curious about anything else. I mean, my, my seeking was over. 
I just wanted to know more about human design because through that lens, I could see whatever I wanted to eventually, eventually. Um, lots of trials and tribulations along the way. Um, I guess if I, I look now and I go, well, how has it changed your life now after all these years? My life doesn't have the resistance it had. You know, I'm more content. I'm more relaxed. Um, I'm endlessly fascinated to learn from everyone I meet, if I know their chart. Whatever they say, whatever they do, however they, they act, I learn. I learn more about the nature of the life force that's in them, about the quality of the energy, about the frequency. So it's a, it's a dream, really. <laughs> um, and it's part of me opening this channel up because I haven't been in touch with my students for a while. And they keep saying, when are you going to come out? You know, when are you coming back? So I'm coming back and uh, I'm here now. And uh, I'll be sharing some of the things that I've learned along the way and bringing out new things. I mean, it changed my life completely. Um, the people that I met, the conversations that I had through human design, the experiences, the opening up into a real uh, magical awareness of, of how we are in this program. We are patterns in a program and how incredible it is to, to see it operating and to be able to make one's own decision within it. I mean, uh, my life has transformed completely. And I can say that without any guile or pretense. It's uh, those people that have known me over these years have seen what's happened as I have. So a lot of gratitude. I also gratitude and, and more acceptance of people understanding what they have to deal with, with what their design is and, and what their conditioning is. Um, it's brought me closer to really being able to see the other as well. So that's, uh, that's something that I feel strongly about. Uh, I want to bring out um, more information for people. I'm doing my best. I've got on my website, uh, human.design, no.com or .info, just human.design, nice clean URL. Uh, you can download a free report and I'll put the link at the bottom here. Um, it's about 50 pages. Um, if you want to know the, um, the basics, um, there is also a, a paid reports and the core report and the advanced report. But I give away free information because I want people to begin the process. I want them to see that there is a truth they can get to. And it's a fundamental truth. It helps you to make your decisions in the right way. It helps you to flow through the days and through your life in a way with awareness and uh, without a, uh, a feeling like, you know, I don't know, I don't know how the hell people, how the hell people live without human design. That's, just, that's how deep I am in it. It's, uh, it's just the way it is. Um, so um, I would like to encourage all of you if you're new to human design, to, uh, to use my site, this free information, to subscribe to this channel, to share it, um, and to come back again. I intend to uh, bring out a video every twice a week uh, at noon Eastern time. That's five o'clock in the afternoon UK time on Mondays and Thursdays. And um, we'll be going to some interesting things. But I thought I'd just uh, get it going with this. So thank you for your support, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.